I've combined my love of crochet with my love of gaming in the past, but there's one AAA titan, a behemoth of the gaming industry that I have so far sadly neglected. Bingo! I hear it's a smash hit with all the kids. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It combines all the things that kids love. Listening, crossing out boxes, gambling. The premise here is really simple. I have a bingo card. I have a spinning wheel with all possible options. I'm going to spin that wheel, crochet whatever challenge it happens to land on, and then repeat this entire process until I get crochet bingo. What I will need for some of these challenges is a pattern. So I've just whipped up a really quick, hopefully easy octopus pattern. It's only, I think, about 10 rows. So that'll get us through these challenges a little bit quicker, I hope. And I think that's all we need to cover. So we can just dive straight into doing these challenges. Okay, spinning wheel up. And as I do this, I'm having flashbacks to going to bingo with my Nana. Those, those bingo ladies take it very seriously. All I can think of is the announcer at the front of the room reading quickly. Two and three, 23, all the fours, 44, legs, 11, number two, Downing Street, six and nine, 69. It's just playing in my head and you have to go, you have to have ninja reflexes to be able to mark the boxes off as quickly as they read them out. Luckily, that's not going to happen here. I'm just going to go at my own pace. So we're going to spin for our first challenge. What will it be? Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, okay, a nice easy one to start off with, Frog A Project. I actually have a bag of whips here because I might need them for a couple of the challenges. So hopefully I've got something, uh, no, bugger. I bought the wrong bag. Off to a fantastic start. Bear with me and I will go and get the correct bag. Took me a minute, but I finally got the piece that I wanted to frog. This piece was a prototype for a Christmas present I made a while ago. If you've seen my frog or finish video from, I don't know, probably a couple of months ago at this point, you may recognize it from that. And I'm going to reuse this yarn in another project. So I'm going to frog this a bit. And I'm probably not going to frog this whole thing here because you guys know what frogging looks like. I'm not going to bore you with that, but I'll just do a bit, enough to satisfy the challenge, I think. Dance. That's enough challenge complete. I will finish frogging that later though. Now I can cross off my first bingo square. And where is Frogger Project? Oh, bang in the center. <laughs> that is a perfect start. Okay, we're going to mark that off. Bingo square number one complete. Let's go on to number two. Give us another easy one. All right, number two, let's go. For your hands. Okay, so I need to make something that I can put or wear on my hands. And I think what I'm going to do here is use something that I've recently learned. Only a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video called trying crochet hacks from TikTok or something like that. And in that video, I learned how to make a really cool cord. And I happened to mention there that it might make a good bracelet. So that is what we're going to attempt to make now. I will grab my, yes, I actually did grab this one, my scrap yarn bag. Uh, what color should we make this bracelet? Mm, purple, purple's nice, and and maybe this blue, I like that. That's a nice combo, I think. All right, and hopefully I remember how to do this. So you need both ends of the yarn, which means I'm gonna have to do a center pull. Ugh, center pulls never work for me. Only once, only ever once has it worked. There's the ends of the blue. And where's the other end of the purple? At least I've already got a center pull on this one. Other end of the purple. Now, if I remember correctly, we made a slip knot using all four strands. I do actually like how these colors look together. So we're going to make a slip knot. And 
and then you wrapped around with the first color or one of the colors wrapped around and then with the other one you would yarn over and pull through the loops on your hook okay it was fairly straightforward I remember it being nice and easy and pretty quick to whip up so we'll continue this until I reach a length or the circumference that will go around my wrist we'll do maybe two more because I don't want it to be too tight and then there Let's yep that'll be fine uh, the next question is how do I finish off? I'm guessing I just slip stitch, but maybe I'd slip stitch with both. I'll pick up both and I'll work through, maybe I'll work through the center here and I'll pull through with all four strands. And I've got my fibers tangled here. Pulling through all four strands and skizzers done I'll tie that off bracelet finished short and sweet beautiful let us mark that one off and then we can do number three spin give us a good one Design a bird. Well, I have to do it. It's crochet bingo. Design a bird. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to keep this small and I do want it to be relatively simple. So maybe I'll go with, I don't know, a chicken maybe. You know what? I'll wear my bracelet. Because I've got this yarn out, I'll stick with the blue. Oh, blue chicken. I can do the one from Stardew Valley. It's thinking ahead. Totally on purpose too. Quickest design in a crochet history coming up. Hopefully. I tend to accidentally make things bigger than I intend to. So maybe wrong on that count. Alrighty, I have the body, <laughs> let's try that again. I have the body of a chicken, sort of. I'm just going to make a few small details and then I think I'm going to call this challenge done. Let me grab some more yarn. So that is going to be my my bird design, a little chicken. Can it use some more work? Definitely, but I think that fulfills the challenge for this square. So now we're going to, actually we'll set you up here. Maybe not. We will cross that one off our list and then we shall spin for our next challenge. Oh, uh, okay. Now I have to make something from a game. For this one, I've decided to make a slime from Slime Rancher. I haven't got around to playing Slime Rancher 2 yet, so I'm sticking with the first one. And I think I'm going to make a magma slime. I think they're called magma slimes. So I've got my red and my yellow. At least I think they're called magma slimes. Is it lava slime or magma slime? Anyway, they're the red and yellow ones, which is what I've got here. I forgot to press record for the first part of this slime. Of course I did. I'm really not used to working with two cameras.
I'm going to go ahead and give this little dude some eyes because I kind of felt bad that I didn't put any on my chicken. So I'm going to make up for it by giving the slime some. Okay, now I'm just going to add the yellow details. And then boom, magma slime done. No, actually, there is a boom slime, isn't there? I should have done that. That would work better. Boom. We'll cross that one off our bingo card now. Bottom right corner, we'll cross that one off and we'll spin for our next challenge. Hop back over to my wheel and spin. Make a pet toy. I was hoping not to have so many designing ones. I wanted a few that are a little bit quicker and easier. But we will soldier through. Making a pet toy. Okay. Uh, cat toy, I think. That might be easiest. Might make like a curly cue with something on the end of it. So I'll grab my red because I've already got it here. And then I will just begin chaining. So I've done 40 chains, that'll do just for now. And if this actually works out as a cat toy, I can always put it on the end of a stick or something. Let's go in there, we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to alternate between probably a single crochet and a shell stitch, I think. Maybe I might use, I might use half double crochets instead of double crochets though. So there's the curly cue. I probably could have made this a little bit longer, but it'll do for now. And also if I do add it to the end of a stick or something, that will extend the length anyway. I was considering crocheting something for the end of this, like a little mouse, you know, standard cat toy stuff, or even a fish. But I might actually just make a tassel because my cats do enjoy tassels. You can't have anything with a tassel on it, like a curtain tie back or on a pillow or something, because they will attack it. So might as well give them something that they like. I'm going to do this the easy way. I'm just going to grab, what can I use? What have I got around me that I can use? Mm. You know this will do, it might be a bit big, but I'll try it just a box of safety eyes. I'm just going to wrap this around several times. Cut myself a bit for the center here. I'm just going to attach it to the end of my curly cue, that's the word, curly cue here. Kind of rough, but the cat toy is finished. Later on, I might even brush this out with a pet brush to make it nice and fluffy, but you know, I think my cats will enjoy that. We can test that out later, but I'll put you up there and oh, while I'm here, I'll grab my chicken so you can join the rest. Bingo's not looking good so far. I don't really have many lined up to cross that off. Then we're going to spin again, head on back to our wheel over here and go. And this time we have <sighs> use the largest hook. Oh, I hate using that hook. I've used it once and I don't like it. Turns out I hate it. Bugger. Well, I think that's behind me here. This is my largest hook. It is 20 millimeter and I don't think I have yarn to even fit this. So I do have some chunky stuff in here. No. Mm, that's earmarked for another project. As it turns out, I'm glad I did that TikTok crochet hacks video because I'm going to use another technique that I learned there. And that was to turn regular yarn into chunky yarn. For that, I will use a different color because I've sort of been using the same ones over and over. All right, let's use this yellow. 
I know we used yellow, but this is a slightly different yellow, so it counts. Triple the yarn. And then make a slip knot. And for some reason, the last time I did this, I had such a hard time making a slip knot. I think just working with the three strands threw me off. And I'm going to have the same problem here, no? I don't even know if this is going to be thick enough, but I'm going to try and do it anyway. And I will need to get up my little octopus pattern that I mentioned at the start, because that's what I'm going to be crocheting for some of these. Let's try this. Ugh, I hate using this hook. And then you pass that up through there, pull on it, and then you still have three strands to work with. And I'm not starting with a magic circle here. I'm going to do the, the chain two method. So chain two. Yeah, this yarn really isn't thick enough. That's not working. We might have to try something else. I've gone and grabbed myself some thicker scrap yarn. This is actually the leftovers from my Stitches inspired hoodie. And I'm hoping if I use, maybe I'll start with four threads, it will be thick enough for this 20 millimeter hook. I don't like working with these huge hooks. And I think that looks okay. I'm just gonna go with it. I've managed to finish round three, but I'm about to run out of purple, green, and one of the oranges. I have a little bit of white, but I don't think that's going to last me very long. But fortunately, I also have almost a full skein of this orangey color. I'm going to crochet with the rest of these colors for as long as I can, and then I'll just have to swap out to the orange if I have to. It's an absolute mess. I've accidentally been crocheting oh, with one of the ends I was supposed to work over. You know what? It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I am just about to run out of the white yarn as well. I went and had a little bit of a scrounge around through a couple of yarn bags and fortunately I found some of this same yarn in more white, black and then gray so i will bring in this new white and hopefully having found the black and the gray that means i will have enough to finish this i should do anyway there's quite a bit of gray and that this orangey color here I've crocheted the entire octopus body with my stupid big hook. There is actually one more round to go and that is to add the legs because you leave the front loops here free and you just add the legs straight onto that. But due to the fact that I'm running short on time, I'm going to leave this as is for now. I'm going to continue on with my crochet bingo and then at the end of the day, if I have some time left, I'll come on in and I'll finish the legs. I might add some eyes as well. But for now, I'm going to call that complete. I did everything bar one round with this yarn and hook. Therefore, we can cross that off our list. There we go. Oh, bingo card is looking a bit better now. We've got a nice diagonal happening. So we need play yarn chicken and finish a whip for bingo. Fingers crossed. And now it's time for another spin. And this time we have Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. All right, we're going from larger talk to smallest talk. This is one of my smallest talks. I think I've got a couple that are a little bit smaller, but I didn't really want to go through the whole bag and look for them. So this is a 1.5 millimeter hook. So I grabbed that and I grabbed some embroidery thread and I'm just going to crochet the same octopus pattern 
or I'll attempt to at least. And that is the mini octopus done. You know, I reckon these would actually make cute earrings. <laughs> I might have to make a second one. But now we can go ahead and cross that off our bingo card too. And another spin. Spin. Tapestry crochet. That's okay, we can just make something small. Going to go back to my original colors I was using. And I might just try and make something small. I'm not gonna bother with the pattern. I'm just making shit up as I go. Dance. When I finished my tapestry crochet. Uh, it was supposed to be like a little heart and you know for a quick three minute freehand I don't think it looks too bad but that means we can cross another one off our bingo card let's go what was that tapestry crochet Ugh, completely blank then I hope I get finish a whip next because <laughs> that will be bingo and then back to the wheel for another spinny spin come on finish a whip Alright, I need to find a free pattern and I need to crochet it. The first result is a mushroom, so I'm just going to go with that. And who is this by? Mojimo, Moji Moji Designs? I think that's what it was. Moji Moji Designs. Okay, let's scroll down to the pattern. And we're going to need a red yarn and a white yarn. I don't think I have white yarn with me, but I do have cream. So that is what we'll be using. And if you're interested in this pattern, I will put a link for it down in the description. And that is one more for our bingo card. Please cross your fingers for me that I get finish whip on the next one because then we will have bingo. You go up there with the rest. Where are you? I know you're on here somewhere. Ah, right down the bottom there. Okay, row five. Okay. Oh, come on. Back to the wheel. Give me finish a whip and go. Finish whip, finish whip, finish whip. Oh, come on. Oh, you bastard. All right, I'm doing an octopus and I'm yarning under instead of yarning over. Bugger, I was so close that time. All right, so I've got to remember to yarn over. Yarning under, it's not like it's difficult. The worst part is just trying to overcome that muscle memory because I use yarn over more frequently. It's just automatically to go, see, automatically to go to go, go to do that. I'm going to level with you guys. I completely forgot to yarn under for the legs. I think the popcorn stitches just threw me off and I've done one, two, three, four, five. I'm not frogging this. So the legs will be yarn over. Everything else is yarn under though. So I think that qualifies enough for for bingo. Yarn under done. I'm not even going to finish off properly because I am very quickly running out of space on my SD card. So I'm hoping I can get bingo before that happens. We're going to hop over to our card. We're going to get rid of yarn under only, which is row two. And now we're going to spin. Give us a good one, please. Come on. And we have Scrap Yarn Project. 
I don't remember what I meant by that because I'm using scrap yarn already. Am I supposed to design something new? I don't know. Yes, things look a little bit different. A bit of a situation came up yesterday and I had to abruptly stop recording. So we are going to continue today. Where we left off last time was with the prompt or bingo square scrap yarn project. And I couldn't quite remember what I had actually intended that to be. And what I've just decided is to use what I call my medium scrap to crochet this project. With my scrap yarn, I tend to divide it into three categories. I have like skeins of scrap yarn. They could be half to three quarters or even full skeins, but they're not great quality. They're ones I've either been given or I've picked up at op shops or thrift shops for the Americans out there. And I will use those like to design my prototypes for projects. Then I have the second category, which is sort of this stuff. It's the, the remnants of skeins. So there's not heaps, but there's still enough to do something with. And then the third category of scrap is just the offcuts and stuff that I use mainly for stuffing, actually. What I'm going to do with this project is use that second category. I have a whole bunch over here. And I'm just going to pick out tiny bits like this. And I'm going to do as much of the project as I can with that. And if I run out, I will just bring another tiny bit in. So I will end up probably with a multicolored octopus. So that is the plan for the scrap, scrap yarn project bingo square, because I cannot for the life of me remember what I actually meant by that. So let's get going with our bingo card again today. And looking at the card now, I actually still only need a couple of squares to go. I need rainbow colors only, which unfortunately this doesn't count as, and finish a whip. If I can get one of those, I have bingo. Alrighty, what color are we gonna change to? Mm, I've got a green that's similar to that one. I think I want something a little bit different, maybe light green. We can go for that, oh, what's the word? You know where sea creatures have evolved to be dark on the top and then light on the bottom for like camouflage. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a thing. Bear with me while I untangle my yarn. Bring that on in and recount my stitches because I forgot where I was up to. I just need to crochet the legs at this point and I'm going to bring in some darker green scrap to do that. We've got ourselves a little, little ombre octopus here. Okay, scrap yarn octopus is done. Let us cross that off our bingo card now. So on two of the rows, the diagonal and one vertical. If we get one of those, we get bingo. So we're going to head over to the wheel. We're going to spin. What do I need? Rainbow colors only and finish a whip. All right, come on. Different yarn fiber, not what I was hoping for. My go-to fibers for yarn are acrylic and cotton, or sometimes even a blend of the two. Therefore, in this case, I'm going to use some wool. I do have a little bit. I'll grab that and we can crochet ourselves yet another octopus. Maybe I should have made myself a few more patterns for this challenge. Don't get me wrong. I like octopus, but I think you can have too much of a good thing. This pink is 100% wool. And I don't think I've actually used this before. This was one that was given to me. We'll see how this actually works with amigurumi. I don't think I've ever made amigurumi out of wool. And I may, may not, if I can't find the end. Another octopus coming up. Wrong hook. I apologize for the power tools in the background. My neighbor is at it again. If you've been here for a while, you'll know this is an ongoing issue. My neighbor and his power tools. <laughs> Anyway, I have finished my woolen octopus. We can cross that off our bingo card. Ugh, that one wasn't even close to helping me, helping me get bingo that time. And then we're going to spin again. Give us a good one. Stop, 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 stop. 
<sighs> design an insect. I was hoping to get one of the quicker ones. What sort of insect can I design? I have an idea for this one. I don't know if it's going to work out in reality, but it's something that I want to try. So for this bingo challenge, I'm going to try and make a butterfly, but I want to make a butterfly entirely in the round. No sewing, just a butterfly in the round. That doesn't look too bad. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Okay, how many stitches did I use? I was hoping to use six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so maybe slip stitch across here again. And then I'm basically going to take what I've just done and reverse it. Not perfect, but I think that looks okay. And I bought some black and cream so I could add a little bit of detail. So with the black, I might just crochet around the edge. I was going to add some details to this. I was going to add black stripes on the, the wings and I was going to add some white to the black stitching I've done around the edges. But I think I will leave that off for now because I might revisit this pattern and I want to be able to see what stitches I used and where because the shapes, it's not perfect. It's not exactly a butterfly, but I think there is the suggestion of a butterfly. And if I worked on it for more than 10 minutes, I might be able to come up with a half decent pattern. So I'm going to leave that alone for now and return to that at a later date. But with that done, it means we can cross it off our bingo card. And there we go. And that means it's time for another spin. Come on. Come on. And no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> oh, another design one. Design a sea creature. Okay, what am I going to design this time? My first thought is jellyfish, because that's be yeah, that'd be a pretty straightforward pattern. A whale or a dolphin, they might just be a little bit too big and take, you know, a bit too long. Shark, same thing. You know what? I'm going to go with my first instinct. Jellyfish it is. I need something to break up the monotony of octopus. I might start off in this darker yellow. There is my jellyfish, a, another bingo square. Ah, getting a bit crowded up here. <laughs> that is another bingo square down. Cross that off our list or our square. It's not really a list, is it? Oh, we're getting closer to bingo in some of these. Fingers crossed and spin. Come on, come on. Finish a whip. Finally got it. We'll do this and then we'll have bingo. The whip that I'm going to finish is my echidna. All it needs is some spines and I actually crocheted some already, but I have no idea where they ended up. I don't know if they've ended up in a scrap box accidentally, but I cannot find them anywhere. So I'm just going to re-crochet some spines for this guy here. And I have my brown yarn handy already. You might have noticed during the last few spins that I thought I would have bingo if I landed on the finish whip square. That was completely wrong and here is how I screwed myself over. You see during the bingo as we were playing I was marking off all my squares as I went in Photoshop and if you look at this footage I took here you can see this spot where it says use smallest hook. Well I was supposed to check that off but instead in a galaxy brain move I accidentally checked off the box next to it, which is play yarn chicken. <laughs> so I have spent the last several turns thinking that I almost had bingo 
when I in fact did not. Because I need to make up for it and I'm supposed to be doing something else today so I have a limited amount of time, I'm going to do two bingos. I'm going to take the two squares that I actually need to have bingo which in this case is play yarn chicken on the diagonal and rainbow colours only on the vertical. I was going to say horizontal but no that's the wrong one on the vertical. And I'm going to combine those, crochet that and then I will have double bingo and double bingo should make up for not actually getting bingo in the first place. <laughs> Makes sense to me. And I'm going to grab out a couple of those. There's a little, I was going to say skein, not really a skein, is it? Some little remnants. Just some dark blue. That'll, that'll do to start me off. And I'm just going to crochet those. So I'm going to play yarn chicken with these, but I'm also going to be doing rainbow colors at the same time because I'll work with the three, the three strands together. Rainbow colors and yarn chicken together. Let's go. Bingo. Finally. And it's actual bingo this time. I double checked. I got it in two spots. I got play yarn chicken and the rainbow colors only. <laughs> So just to make absolutely certain, I got bingo twice. And with that finished, our bingo game is coming to an end. I actually had a lot of fun doing this, despite that little hiccup at the end there. So I'm already planning to do a, another crochet bingo. I think what I'll do is I'll take the squares that I didn't use this round and recycle them, use them in a new card next time. But what I would like, if you guys can help me out, is to use some subscriber suggestions. So if you have an idea for a bingo square, drop that down in the comments below and I will incorporate it into the card next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. And I will see you next week with probably another pattern, but maybe another challenge video. We'll see how we go.